Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasidli amri wa hlulukdatam milisani yaqahu qawli. Today we are going to learn about an al mukhafafa in our short series. What is an al mukhafafa It is the lightened form of anna, which is one of the sisters of harufi nasiba, inna anna ka anna layta la alla lakinna. So that anna, which is harf nasiba, nasiqa, mushababil fili tawheed, comes for emphasis when it is lightened, when it is made light by taking away one noon from it becomes an, and, and it is then called an al muqaffafa When you take away one noon from anna, it becomes an muqaffafa This an, though spelled like an masdariya, does not make mudari mansub. It is different from an masdariya. Like anna, it acts on an ism, which is the mirushan, and it's always mahzub. And we have learned the mirushan is our third person singular, third person singular pronoun. So its ism is always going to be the mirushan, and it's always going to be mahzub. Just like anna has its ism, this an mukhafafa also has its ism. But its ism is always going to be the mirushan, it's always going to be mahzub. So, Arab of this an are an mukhafafa min an nasakila wa ismuha the mirushan mahzuf. So its ism is always going to be the mirushan and it's always going to be mahzuf. So now, when you open Musa, how will you find that this an that you are seeing is an mukhafafa from an nasakila? The six words that I want you to commit to your memory that you must memorize by heart are. Lam, lan, seen, sofa, qad, law. If you see an before lam, lan, seen, sofa, qad, law. If you see an before lam, lan, seen, sofa, qad, law. Think about an muqaffafa min an nasakila. Think about an muqaffafa min from an nasakila. If an is followed by lam, lan, seen, sofa, qad, law. Think about an muqaffafa. For advanced students. After you learn these six words, I want you to commit to your memory La Nafia, La Nafia, Khabar of Jumla Ismiya, Pelu Dua, Pel Jamid, Pelu Dua, Pel Jamid, Pelu Dua, the pel that is used to make a dua, and sometimes we see pel madin is used to make a dua, like we say Barakallahu Fiki, Jazakumullahu Khairan, Pel Jamid. Are those of all that are only present in past tense form. They don't have mudari, they don't have amr. They're only present in madin form. They are only seen as fail madi. There is no mudare form to them, there is no fail amr for these of all. Those of all, if you see them and before these of all, you see an, it's going to be an muqaffafa min an So let's see if we can find. Are an mukhafafa in Quran. So I ayakhsabu allam yarahu ahad. This is a part of the words from Quran. And here you are seeing an that is followed by lam. The first thought that should come to your mind is an mukhafafa min an nasakila. Its ism is the mirushan mahzu. Its khabar is lam yarahu ahad, which is jumla failia fi mahali rafin. Ayakhsabu an lain yakdira ilayhi ahad. An. And you are seeing lan after it. Think about an mukhafafa min an nasakila. Its ism is going to be the mirushan mahzu. Lain yakdira ilayhi ahad jumla failia fi mahali rafin is going to be khabru an mukhafafa. Lain yakdira ilayhi ahad is going to be the khabar of an mukhafafa. Ali ma an sayakun min kum marda. You are seeing seen harf istikbal after an. You are going to think about an mukhafafa min an nasakila. You are also going to notice that the mudare is not mansub after it. After an, you are not seeing mudare in mansub form. So, this an is going to be labeled as an mukhafafa min an nasakila. Its ism is the mirushan mahzu. Sayakunu minkum marda is going to be the khabru an. Wa na'alama an qad sadaqtana. You are seeing an followed by qad. Think about an mukhafafa min an nasakila. Its khabar is Qad Sadaqtana Fi Mahali Rafin Jumla Failia 
its ism is the mirushan mahzuf wa allavits wa allavis taqamu and followed by law and is going to be an mukhaffafa min an nasqila its ism is going to be the mirushan mahzuf jumla shartiya starting with law is going to be the khabar of an mukhaffafa and is going to be fi mahalli rafin afala yarawna alla yarji'u ilayhim qawla an plus la but mudari is not mansub after an this an is going to be an mukhaffafa min an nasqila its ism is the mirushan mahzuf la yarji'u ilayhim qawla is going to be jumla fi'liya fi mahalli rafin khabru an mukhaffafa in all of these examples if not all in most of these examples notice you are seeing yahsabu yahsabu alima na'lama yarawna all these af'al you have covered are from af'alul qulub af'alul qulub are known to come with anna are they are known to come with anna so you expect to see anna after them but you are seeing an mukhaffafa because an is followed by lam lan seen qad la okay now another case where you are going to see an mukhaffafa min an nasqila so this is going to be in surah an nur and this does not appear in hafsu nasim in hafsu nasim the words from surah an nur is going to be read wal khamisati anna ghadab allah alayha so here you are seeing anna but in other recitation the verse is read as wal khamisata an ghadib allah alayha so here an is seen and after which is fil madin fil madin which is coming up as fil dua may may rage of allah be upon her may ghadab of allah be upon her so since this is fil madin being used as fil dua i'm going to call my an an mukhaffafa min an nasqila its ism is dhamir ushan mahzuf an ghadib allah alayha which is jumla fil is going to be fi mahalli raf'in khabru an al mukhaffafa the next case where you are going to see an mukhaffafa min an nasqila is going to be before fil jamid which include laysa and asa as i said before the they are only seen in past tense form and laysa asa you are seeing are in the past tense form and if you see an before fil jamid you are going to think about an mukhaffafa min an nasqila again an will have its ism the mirushan mahzuf and laysa lil insani illa ma sa'a is going to be khabru an mukhaffafa and in the uh, example from surah al araf asa an yakuna qad iqtaraba ajaluhum is going to be the khabar of an mukhaffafa min an nasqila the last case where you are going to see an mukhaffafa min an nasqila is in the khabar of jumla ismiya so here we see akhiru dawahum akhiru mubtada marfu with the matu zahira dawa majrur bil idafa it is mudaf ilayhi and is jarin status hum another mudaf ilayhi for dawa and it is majrur bil idafa as well so this is your mubtada and for every mubtada we look for khabar what can be the possible khabar if you see in the beginning an what could be expected to be the khabar of jumla ismiya you are going to think about an mukhaffafa so here an an mukhaffafa is beginning the khabar of this mubtada uh, its dhameer is dhameer ushan mahzuf alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin is khabru an jumla ismiya fi mahalli raf'in and the whole an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin is going to be khabar of mubtada akhiru dawahum so when you go in um the jumla ismiya which is the khabar of an mukhaffafa you find alhamdu which is mubtada and lillahi jar wal majrur is going to be the khabar of mubtada and rabbil alamin is going to be labeled as sifa for lafzul jalala so this is the last case where you are going to see an mukhaffafa so if you see an in the sentence where you expect to see khabar and the expected khabar is beginning with an think about an mukhaffafa 
So in summary, all students, every student of Quran must familiarize themselves with lam lam seen so far called lau. If they see an and after an lam lam seen so far called lau is there, you call an as an muqaffafa. For advanced students, commit to your memory the last four cases as well. If you see an and it is followed by la nakia, there can be exp a possibility that an is an muqaffafa min an nasqila. Not always, but there is a possibility. As and I have shown you the examples from Quran. If you see khabar after seeing a muqtada and the khabar is beginning with an, it is going to be an muqaffafa min an nasqila. If you see fail dua, if you see fail jamid, think about an muqaffafa min an nasqila. This is all that I have for today. I hope you find this session beneficial. Learning Quran is going to be an easy journey if you keep practicing. Practice is the key to success. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.